I drew this clothespin dolla this morning. I wasn't very happy with the last clothespin dolla I did, so I used the same clothespin and I drew this drawing. Now I wanted to do something a little bit different with it. I wanted to play with grayscale and I wanted to create some patterns within the grayscale that weren't outlined with ink. And I thought, what can I use to do that? Well, I haven't used these Coptic markers for a long time. And I used these quite a bit when I was focusing on grayscale and design based on grayscale shapes. So I made a sample of each of the markers I have. Then I used the black marker so that I could see the difference between the value of the color I was marking and black, and then of course white. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my grayscale chart to determine what each of these marker values might be. And just as a refresher to do that, put this aside, I'm going to use this edge that doesn't have any white on it and compare it. For example, let's just go to this one. This is clearly darker than that. Just moving down, down, down. It's darker, 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 darker. And I squint at it. It's looking pretty much the same there, but I think it's closer to the three. It's a little darker than the four and it's lighter than the two. So I will call that a three. The reason that there's a question mark here is because there was no number on the marker itself. I don't remember which one that, that is. It's one of these. Anyway, it, it doesn't have a mark on it to identify it. So now the second one, this is darker, darker, darker. That looks right on. Pretty close there too. That's a little darker then, I guess. Definitely lighter there. So this is gonna be a six and I'll Put the value number in a square. So I'm going to go ahead and mark all of these. I've now determined the value of each of these and I've organized them. These are my lights. Okay, right here that runs 8, 9, 10. My mid value are 7 through 4. I don't have any 4s. These are my mid tones and my darks are 3 through 1 right here. Now I can determine what value I want the shapes to be, and then I can just play with the different markers in those shapes. I'm going to use tracing paper so that I can illustrate for you what's going on in my head. I don't usually take this step because I'm too impatient, but it's impossible for you to know what I'm thinking as I add values to these shapes unless I illustrate it for you. So I'm, I'm going to do my best to do that. I'm using three carbon pencils so that they don't reflect. Pencils often reflect with the video and, and the film. My thinking is to leave the objects light. They will be in the range of eight, nine, and ten. I want them to stand out. I don't have to be real neat about this because it's, it's just my thinking process. It's not going to hang on the wall. Some of these I will make darker, but I'm not sure which ones yet. Now I have to decide which ones are going to be darker. And I think that I want the darker ones on the bottom. See how that line stands out now? That's pretty important. Now that's kind of heavy, so I'm going to continue my dark over in here. And I can vary it within the dark. I can use one, twos, and threes. I'm going to bring this all the way up to here. I like movement. So I want my dark shape to carry around the different shapes and not isolate them from one another. 
I'm using my darks to connect my shapes. I think that this is it now. For my darks, I have all of these to choose from. I have the values of one, two, and three. Values one, two, and three. Now with markers, depending on how many times I go around or how hard I press, the values could come out a little bit different. So this is gonna be a bit of an experiment like most things. What I want you to notice is that I created interest and pattern in this shape without changing the fact that it's an overall dark shape. It's a dark shape. This is also going to be a dark shape, but I'm going to switch it out just a little bit. So now when you squint at this, again, those two circle shapes are dark. Okay, they're the dark. But look at all the interest in there. And I didn't outline everything, I don't need to, but I used only the dark values. I played with the color. I played with like the warm and cool of it, the brown and the gray, and I stayed right here. So I have my lightest dark and my darkest dark. My lightest dark and my darkest dark. But they're all within the area of the dark value shape. I'm going to do the same thing. This is going to be my mid-tones.
here are my mid-tone values. Again, I sort of repeated the idea of the shapes, played around with it a little bit, reversed it a little bit. And there I'm using my mid-tone markers. I didn't use the violets or the pink. I thought that would be a little bit um, not in keeping with the feel that I'm going for. But I did use the rest of them. And this is within the seven to four. Now again, I have no four, so it's seven, six, and five. Those are the values I used up here. And when you squint at it, you can see that there's, there's interest there, but the value shapes have remained the same, okay? I have dark value shapes and I have mid-tone value shapes. That's it. I'm leaving this white and I'm leaving some of the lines white. And that's the dollar. If you squint at that, you have the same design as you do there. And that was the whole point.